Job Seekers Wednesday it is, and uh, we now uh, take a look at uh, some of the challenges faced by young women in the workplace. Now, Youth Employment Accelerator Harambe has released their annual analysis of the barriers facing young women uh, in the labour market and, of course, uh, the pathways to their entry or the pathways that facilitate their entry into the labour market. Now, the study shows uh, that uh, gender penalties uh, continue to exist that preclude young women from equal work and equal pay. And for this conversation, I'm joined by uh, Lebunke, uh, who uh, heads up partnerships and advocacy efforts at Harambe Youth Employment Accelerator. And certainly no stranger uh, to our uh, show here on Business Unusual. Afternoon to you, Lebunke. Good afternoon. Great to be back. Thank you so much for, for, for coming through this afternoon. Now, just briefly, give us some background and insight here to um, this particular report and, of course, how, I guess, this kind of knowledge generation and the use of insights from uh, the work that you do is uh, often communicated. So just give us uh, some yeah. background and context. Then. So, um, you know, on a, on a quarterly basis, Harambe Youth Employment Accelerator um, looks at what we're learning from our network. So we've got a network of 600,000 um, young people um, that is also growing. And um, as you know, we've um, pathwayed over 100,000 young people into employment. And so from just doing this process, we're learning so much about um, what the dynamics are out there and what it takes to shift them and what is actually happening um, and we look at barriers that young people face sure. um, and we do this on a quarterly basis so this year um, and this quarter we've decided to focus our our breaking barriers on mm. gender um, as a barrier into getting into work and uh, we've certainly seen that young women definitely face penalties when it comes to um, trying to find work. So the landscape for young men and for young women looks completely different. Let's talk about some of those differences. What are they? So, um, I mean, I think just the highlights mm. and in general is that young men are more likely to um, secure employment um, than, than, than young women. Yeah. So there's an 8% difference um, in what we're seeing about like young men's ability to be able to, to secure work. And the reasons are many uh, out there. I mean, I think ranging from cultural, um, um, cultural issues that like young women mm. are, are facing um, to even like um, and, you know, some biases that exists in um, employer processes. But we know that, um, you know, some of this is um, exaggerated and perpetuated by the fact that young women are less likely to complete their matrix, yes. uh, their matric, mm. um, before young, young men. Uh, we know that uh, young women have got less time mm. to actually go out there and look for work. Um, you know, trying to find work actually takes time sure, sure. and it takes money. And, and I was able, I mean, how much of that particular point, which says, you know, young women, as compared to younger gentlemen, have probably less time to go out on the job search, and sometimes a lot of that has to do with the fact that we live in multi-generational households. You have to look after the kids. There's an expectation that the younger females will look after uh, the younger people in the family and even some of the older people uh, who might have all manner of ailments. And that takes away from them. One that, that's exactly right. And that's why I refer to like, you know, cultural barriers that, that mm. exist. So um, a lot of young women are bound to be um, doing child care at home or minding for elders, um, cooking around the house, going to drop of kids at, um, at school. All those things um, are, are really, really time consuming. Our research showed that um, young women probably spend like seven ti 17 times more um, in the morning uh, yeah. than young men um, just preparing for household, um, for the household to get going and, mm. and, and, and to move. Um, so definitely big, big, big differences. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, what we also saw that was interesting was that um, young women are less likely to also have a driver's license or a truck license. Wow. So the differences are five to six um, times. So, you and know, that's often a requirement in many of these roles. Exactly. Yeah. Um, having a driver's license really does you improve your um, chances of being able to get a job out there. So so um, we see that young men are five sure. times more likely to have a, a driver's license. Um, and so that actually just, you know, excludes women. So, and it's so interesting because when I talk to people about this, they go, it's really, wow, seriously, well, in, 20, right? in 2019. Surely um, it's self-evident. I mean, we see more males. Well, we definitely see more males in, in, in work. But um, I mean, I think what I've found exciting about this mm. is the importance of being data driven sure. and the importance of making um, evidence based, um, you know, decisions. And so uh, this is definitely an issue that's showing up in the numbers. Aslebo, what is the evidence telling us when it comes to how 
gendered the pay gaps are when people do make it into the workplace. So yes, there's a job search, and of course uh, the prospects and the likelihood of accessing a job continue to have gendered impacts, but uh, one would think that you find the same picture when it comes uh, to looking at the evidence on pay once people make it into the... It, into it, the it's, yep, I think um, that, that is true, and I mean, I think that this is like a global issue, yeah. um, that, you know, women are... Um, basically disadvantaged and um, discriminated, I guess, mm -hmm. when, it, when it comes to pay. And the strange thing, though, is that, um, you know, even though young women may struggle to get into the, the, the workplace yes. and uh, men may, may get there quicker than them, the truth is that um, they, are, they perform exactly the same once mm -hmm. they are in the job. So there really shouldn't even be a difference even in terms of pay um, for people doing equal, yeah. equal amount of work. And I think... As we take this break here, it's uh, very important to underscore to many of the people that are watching this particular show that um, it is illegal to contravene the equal work, equal pay principle. Uh, and of course, I think because people are so scared to even share some of uh, that uh, information and evidence about what it is that they earn, uh, it's also not illegal for you to share how much you're earning with some of your colleagues because that's one of the ways uh, that will assist us to get to the bottom of some of the uh, gender, par uh, gender pay gaps that we continue to see in our workplaces.